Welcome to the Christian Pregnancy Podcast. If you are ready to overcome stress and fear in pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum by applying God's Word in your life, you are in the right place. I believe that children are a gift from God and the journey into motherhood is meant to be blessed. However, we find ourselves full of stress and fear. As mummies to be or new mums, you are a daughter of God and Jesus has come that we may have abundant life and this abundant life includes joy and peace through your motherhood journey. I believe as mums, we have the authority to claim this promise from God. I'm Gladys, a mum of two who has been through the struggles of being pregnant, staying pregnant, followed by a challenging childbirth and postpartum. But God was and is my strength, and I am called to help you claim a pregnancy of purpose, a childbirth full of joy, and a motherhood of meaning. Put up your feet, grab your pickles or ice cream. It's time to dig into this journey with Jesus at the wheel. Hi, daughter of God. Welcome to the Christian Pregnancy Podcast. It's been a while since I had an episode on this podcast and this is a really difficult episode for me to record because it has been a challenging past few months that I've been through. And the tendency when going through a difficult time, the tendency for me is to hide because sometimes as a child of God, I would be thinking, why do bad things happen to me? Did I do something wrong? Or did I not have enough faith? Did I not pray enough? Or even simply the question of why God? But then I realized that there's so much to be gained from going through hard times because everyone on earth goes through some rough patch at some point in their lives. I'm reminded of what Jesus said in John 16 verse 33 that in this world, we will have trouble. But he continued on to say, to take heart because he has overcome the world. So I finally decided to record this podcast to testify of God's goodness, even in the midst of difficulties and trials and testings. But I would also like to share that despite the trials, there have been much blessing in my life too. So I'm now halfway through my pregnancy and waiting for my third child to be born this October. And every day I'm so thankful to be able to be pregnant with my baby. And thank God baby is growing and developing well so far. So when my pregnancy first started, I was so excited to be able to take this opportunity to share on this podcast about my journey to motherhood for the third time. I was thinking of weekly episodes about how I'm applying God's word for victorious pregnancy and I had hoped that this would be an encouragement to you. But starting from around week 5 or week 6 of my pregnancy, I started having really bad morning sickness and it got worse as time go as time went on and I was literally so exhausted with work and family and church commitments that I couldn't even muster enough strength to record a single episode after my previous episode. So when I was going through uh, the the morning sickness that I had, I cling on to what I knew about God and I did what I had done in previous pregnancies, which was to pray for healing for my body and to command the morning sickness to stop in Jesus' name. And I continued speaking life over my body, speaking life for my body to adapt well to the changes so that I will have a wonderful and smooth pregnancy, just like I did the last time. And guess what? None of that actually happened. And I found myself battling nausea and vomiting and even until now. And it really got me discouraged to the point of thinking, what have I done wrong or what am I doing wrong now to have it in this pregnancy but not in my previous one? And then the second trimester started and in the past couple of months, I had been in and out of the hospital emergency or urgent care a few times 
because I was experiencing bleeding on and off. And that also threw me off because just like the nausea, I had never experienced this before in my previous pregnancies. On top of that, I was facing some issues which had happened in my family and church and it all it all just piled up. With all of that, I just felt the weight of discouragement. And I just wondered why this pregnancy isn't going as smooth as I hoped and prayed it would be. Especially since I'm running this podcast and want to be an encouragement to all you listeners that a victorious pregnancy with God is possible for us as His daughters. So that's why I hid and I kept silent. Now looking back, I will choose not to be regretful over the past few months of silence, but instead to pick back up on where I had left off and continue sharing and encouraging, even through what I'm going through right now. And I realized that having a victorious pregnancy with God is not only about focusing on having everything going smooth sailing physically with no nausea, no bad symptoms, no discomfort. But rather, a victorious pregnancy is about having God's presence with me, God's presence with you through the most difficult times. It's all about placing our hope and trust in God and not placing our hope and trust in having everything going smoothly or according to what I hope for. God is the only one who can anchor us through every season, whether good or bad. So a couple of weeks ago, I was reading Habakkuk and a familiar passage in Habakkuk was Habakkuk 3 verses 17 to 19. And it was such an encouragement to me. Let me read it for you in the NIV version. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Saviour. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. Habakkuk 3 verses 17 to 19 So these verses talk about hope and expectations which are unmet. Things which you had hoped for to come to pass but they just did not go as you had expected. Figs should bud and vines should have grapes but there aren't any. I could rephrase it as, though my pregnancy didn't turn out the way, I hope, though the birth of my previous babies wasn't what I had expected. And you can also fill in the blanks, depending on your situation. And there comes a turning point when Habakkuk turns from looking at the outward situation and instead choosing to focus his attention to God. He chose to rejoice in God. So I can also rephrase what he said and say it in my own words. Yet I will rejoice in God. I will be joyful in God, for he has saved me and given me salvation and a life with him. God is my strength and he enables me to go through even the most difficult circumstances. And it is painful. I know it is difficult. It is not easy to go through a situation which you feel like everything is spiraling out of control. And I acknowledge that there may be feelings and emotions of sadness, regret, longing, even grief. All of these are normal because we are human. And as we face these situations, there are these feelings and thoughts that may arise in us. But what do we do with all these thoughts and feelings? I suggest that we turn to God. Turn to God and bring 
these thoughts and feelings to God and let Him know them. Even if they may be uncomfortable thoughts, uncomfortable feelings, or maybe you think that what you are thinking of is not holy, it's not good enough. Because guess what? God already knows what you are thinking and what you are feeling. He is there with you and will help you walk through this difficult time. So that is how I'm finding hope in the midst of the challenges that I'm facing in my pregnancy. And I don't know what you're facing right now in your pregnancy or in your motherhood journey. And I'm sharing this uh, as someone who is going through the, the trials and the difficulties. I'm not someone who has walked out of it yet. And I do not know all the answers. And I do not even know what is the outcome. But one thing I know is that God is with me and God is in control. And God is with you too. And He loves you and He cares for you. So would you go with Him, go to Him today and tell Him how you feel. Tell Him how you feel about your situation and the thoughts that you have. What is your Habakkuk tree verse 17 to 19 today? What mountains do you need God's help to tread on today? Tell him that. Because what I found is that sometimes God may take us out of a difficult situation, but other times he will enable us to go through the situation. Just like what was described in Habakkuk OS 19. He enables my feet to be like the feet of a deer to tread on the heights. So he enables us to walk through even the most difficult and treacherous of situations. So I encourage you to go to him right now, even after this episode ends. Spend some time with him, the God who created you, the God who created your baby in your womb, the God who loves and cares for you so much more than you can ever imagine. He is here with you. Would you turn to him today? Let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much, Lord, that you are the God who is near to us. Thank you, Lord, that we can reach out to you anytime, Lord, and that you know our deepest fears, you know our deepest thoughts and feelings, and we can come and be honest and open with you, no matter what we are going through. So, Lord, would you help Help us in our situations that we are facing which are challenging, whether in pregnancy or motherhood or even in life. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us and you will never leave us nor forsake us. Help us to keep our eyes on you always. In Jesus' name, Amen. If this podcast has blessed you, help you or challenge you, please share it with another mom to be or mom and leave a written review on Apple Podcasts. This helps inspire a generation of kingdom mothers and future world changers. Also, come join the Christian Pregnancy Facebook group at bit.ly slash Christian Pregnancy Group. That is bit.ly slash Christian Pregnancy Group. See you in the next episode. May God bless your pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum journey with His joy and peace always.